So the product rule allows us to differentiate a product or a multiplication of two different functions. So I've got a function y here, which is f of x times g of x. I could, I could write y of x if you want to as well. They're all functions of x. Um, then to differentiate that, the product rule says we'll do f dash of x times g of x. So differentiate the first part and leave the second part alone. And then add that to f of x times g dash of x. So leave the first part alone and differentiate the second part. Probably easiest to see in a particular example. So to differentiate y equals x squared times 3x plus 1 to the 5, we notice it is in the form um, that we need for the product rule. It's, it's a product of two different functions. So we've got x squared times 3x plus 1 to the 5. Uh, so we've got um, f of x equals x squared and f dash of x equals 2x then and g of x equals 3x plus 1 to the 5 and so g dash of x is 5 times 3x plus 1 to the 4 and by the chain rule then we just need to multiply by the derivative of 3x plus 1 i.e. by 3 so instead of 5 we actually have uh, 15. Um, so uh, to apply the um, product rule then uh, we'll say okay dy by dx or uh, y dash if you like uh, is equal to f dash times g of x so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate x squared uh, and I'm going to leave g alone so I'm just going to not do anything to g for that part and for the second part I'm going to do the other way around and add them together so this time I leave f alone so I leave it as x squared and multiply by the derivative of g, so we're times in here by 15 lots of 3x plus 1 uh, to the 4. So um, let's just write that out 2x times 3x plus 1 to the 5 uh, plus 15x squared times 3x plus 1 uh, to the 4. Um, and to tidy this up a little bit, um, we just noticed there are some common factors in these terms. They've both got a common factor of x. I've also got a common factor of 3x plus 1 to the 4. So I could write this as x times 3x plus 1 to the 4. And now in this term, we've also got another factor of 2 and an extra factor of 3x plus 1. So I've got 2 times 3x plus 1. And uh, over here, well, this is um, all of this is x times 3x plus 1 to the 4 or times another x and also times 15. So plus 15x. So this is x times 3x plus 1 to the 4. And multiplying this out, we get 6x plus 2 plus 15x. So this is actually, this is 21x uh, plus 2. So let's write that over here. So I've got x times 21x plus 2 times 3x plus 1 to the 4. And that's in a nice um, sort of factored uh, form uh, there. So once you get to this stage you have differentiated it, that's a, a perfectly good answer if a question were to just say differentiate something using the product rule but uh, to be neat we should uh, really do this and, off, and you know this is a much nicer mathematical form sometimes you might get a question that would say you know show that you know something is in this form um, and this is a much more useful form to work with usually. But anyway the basic idea of the product rule uh, take the first uh, half of the product, differentiate it and leave the second part alone, take the and then leave the for the other part of it here, leave the first part alone and differentiate the second part, add them together and that's that's it, you've differentiated it. So let's look at another example, we've got y equals x times the square root of uh, x squared plus 1 and again we just notice that is a product of two different functions here, the first function is just x and the second function is the square root of uh, x squared plus 1. So we've got uh, f of x equals x and f dash of x equals 1, just differentiating that, and uh, g of x is the square root of x squared plus 1. If you like you could write that as x squared plus 1 to the half because we're about to apply the chain rule to differentiate it and get 1 half x squared plus 1 to the minus 1 half multiplied by the derivative of the inside function, so we're going to times it by 2x. And the 2 and the half cancel then, and this is 1 divided by the square root of x squared plus 1, so overall we've got x divided by the square root of uh, x squared plus 1. 
So applying the uh, product rule to work out uh, dy by dx here then, we've got uh, f dashed, which is just 1, so I don't really need to write that, but I will, uh, 1 times uh, g of x, which is uh, the square root of x squared plus 1. And then we're going to add that to uh, x, this time I'll leave x alone, and differentiate uh, the other function, so times uh, x over the square root of x squared plus 1. So differentiate f, leave g alone, then leave f alone, and differentiate g. Um, so uh, just to tidy this up then, well, we don't need the 1 times, so that's the square root of x squared plus 1, plus x squared over the square root of x squared plus 1. Um, one nice way to tidy up an expression like this, where we've got you know, a square root of, of something and the square root of the same thing on the denominator here, is actually to, to put this over the denominator of root x squared plus 1 as well. So actually I'm going to say, uh, if, to, to combine these into a single fraction essentially, so I'm going to say, well this is something, if I break this is something over x squared plus 1, that something would be uh, x squared plus 1. Because it's like if I, you could, if you like, think of this as of having been, you know, a fraction that divided by one. If I've multiplied top and bottom of the fraction by root x squared plus one, here yeah, I've got root x squared plus one times one, which is just that, and then root x squared plus one times root x squared plus one just gives x squared plus one, uh, and then this is still x squared over the square root of x squared plus one. And the reason that's nice is because you've got a common denominator now, so we can just combine these two fractions and then get a final answer: two x squared plus one divided by the square root of x squared plus 1, which is a nice uh, neat answer. So let's say I want to differentiate y equals uh, x cubed times 2x to the 4 plus x all to the power of 5. Um, first thing to notice, I suppose, is that this is in the form uh, of a product. It's a product of two different functions. I've got x cubed here on the left, and on the right I've got the function 2x to the 4 plus x or to the power of 5. So um, now of course we could, you know, as, as with some of the examples we looked at the chain rule, multiply this out and just differentiate it term by term, but it would be very laborious. We'd much prefer to have a, a method just to differentiate it more quickly. So we'll use the, the product rule to, to, to apply here. So we've got, um, uh, let's just write down what we've got. We've got f of x equals x cubed, and that means that f dashed of x is 3x squared, and I've got g of x is 2x to the 4 plus x to the 5, and to work out g dashed of x, we actually need to uh, apply the chain rule. So I get um, 5 times 2x to the 4 plus x to the 4, like that, so differentiating the outside function, I need to multiply that by the derivative of the inside function, so uh, 8x plus 1. So if I simplify this uh, down a bit, let's write that as 5 times 8x plus 1 times 2x to the 4 plus x all to the 4. That's g dashed of x. So uh, to get y dashed here, or dy by dx, the derivative of this function, what I'm going to do is apply the product rule. So I'm going to leave. So first I'm going to differentiate f, which gives us 3x squared, and then I'm going to multiply that just by a g, so multiply that by 2x to the 4 plus x to the 5, and then for the second part I'm going to um, leave f alone, so leave the x cubed part alone, and I'm adding this all uh, together of course, and then multiply it by g dashed of x, this slightly awkward function here, 5 times 8x plus 1 times 2x plus uh, 2x to the 4 plus x all to the 4. And uh, there we go, uh, one more bracket there, and we've differentiated it. Now, I would prefer to leave this in a slightly uh, neater form than this, and this can be one of the trickier parts of finishing the problem on the chain rule, is to just um, spot some common factors and to, and to factorise them out to make a, a slightly neater uh, final answer. So, the thing we're going to notice here is that I've just got a factor of uh, x squared in both of these terms, and also a factor of 2x to the 4 plus x to the power of 4. So I've got x squared times 2x to the 4 plus x to the 4, and 
it's multiplied by, well in here I've got an extra factor of 3 and, a fa and another factor of 2x to the 4 plus x and in here um, I've got uh, x squared, I've got another factor of x in, in this one and I've also got a factor of 5 times 8x plus 1 so we've got 5x times uh, 8x plus 1 um, so it might even be worth here multiplying out the things in, in here and simplifying them down a bit further so I've got 6x to the 4 plus 3x here and also uh, sorry uh, I've got 3x but I've also got 40x squared here so let's write that down first 40x squared plus uh, 3x and I've also got 5x here so that's plus uh, 8x and actually I see there I've got another factor um, of x that I can pull out so uh, that gives me x cubed times 2x to the 4 plus x to the 4 times 6x cubed plus 40x plus 8 um, and in fact there's another factor of 2 isn't there so I could write that as 2x cubed times 2x to the 4 plus x to the 4 times 3x cubed plus 20x plus 4 when unless that uh, factorizes I can't see anything obvious then that would be how I'll leave my final answer.